Hello world, welcome to the 67th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the third video in my cybersecurity playlist, and in today's video we're going to create a simple keylogger to monitor the activity of the keyboard. And so this can be used defensively to monitor your own keyboard to make sure that um, to keep a track of what's being typed on your computer, especially if it's used by multiple people. Or it can be used offensively if you were to deploy this in an ethical hacking format uh, on someone else's computer. So let's take a quick look at an example from a breakdown of Mr. Robot, a popular hacking TV show of how key loggers can be used. So I'm on GeekWire right now, just a fun website to be on I enjoy it and uh, if you haven't seen it before there is a uh, hacking society known as F Society and one of the employees that's part of the cast um, or characters installed these hardware key loggers on all the computers and so the protagonist Elliot he is going to try to recover these key loggers and then in the uh, next episode, he then looks at these files and they're just text files. So they've downloaded all of these encrypted key loggers into text files. And so here, if you don't know Linux, this is just a simple Linux file right here, dot text. And so we're going to do something similar to that. So. I'll uh, close this just in case there's spoilers and we'll run the program. Okay, so nothing shows up. So this would probably deploy in the background and the user wouldn't know. And so let's just type in hello. All right, and then I'm printing it out every time I press space and we'll go over that with the code. Um, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks. All right, let's close this real quick. Let's end this program. And uh, I just did this for myself. It would not do this if you were really doing something. So hello, how are you? Key shift, because I did a capital I. The key is the 161. I, and then it even tracks this, uh, what is this called? You know what I'm talking about. Apostrophe. It tracks the period, the backspace. When I made a mistake, I would like to say I did that on purpose, but I did not. And a key enter. And then I did a uh, key shift to make the exclamation point. All right. And then it also saved it to right here, this key log. Hello, how are you? But it even controlled the shift R, the backspace. And so I would probably filter those out because you can tell from an exclamation point that the user probably used the shift. But I left that in there so you can see what it does. So let's delete that. I don't want that. So another example of this that I want to show real quick. Okay, so it's running. So let's say I opened up an Internet Explorer and then I typed in Facebook.com. Okay, we'll close out of that. And it captured that as well. Facebook.com. So let's end this. Go to the key log. And then it tracked the Facebook.com. All right, so let's go through the code real quick. You will have to uh, go to your command prompt and pip install pynput. So if you don't know how to do that, I've done this in a lot of videos and, and only one person have asked, how do I do that? Type in command cmd and command prompt should show up right away. Go there, type in pip 
install and then press enter. I've already done it, so it's just going to show you requirements already been satisfied. All right, and then now we're going to import key and listener. So the pi input also has a dot mouse, so you can track mouse uh, clicks as well and cl um, mouse movements. Then we're going to create a file name of this keylog.txt. So if you're using PyCharm, you can just go to file, new file, go here, file, and just call it keylog.txt or whatever you want. And then I created a list called Word. So if you did not create a list like I'm about to show you, it would just track every single letter and print it out. So if I typed in hello, if I pressed H, it would print out H, E, it would print out E. So I just wanted a whole words. It's up to you, however you want it. All right, then you have to create a function. This is part of the library. So you have to create an on press function and you're going to pass it the key. And then the way I did it is if the key is not the space key, then we're going to append it to this word list. So else, meaning it is the space key, we're going to print the word. We're going to open this file and write to it, this keylog.txt, each letter in the word minus this right here, this single quote, or else it would look like this instead of this. Then we're going to write that in a string because this is just a list right now. All right. And then I like to write a space. Just that's just my own personal thing. So after each word, we're going to write a space and then I want to clear this. So then if I type in hi space, it'll clear the word how space. It'll add this space. It'll keep clearing the word. Right. Then you have to have a release function or else you have to stop the program. So I designed uh, so on release, you're going to pass it the key. If the key equals the escape key, then return false and it closes this next loop. So with capital L listener, which we imported here, the on press equals this function on press. The on release equals this function on release as listener. And then you're going to join this to listener. So each key is going to send it to each function. And then that's it. So minus the spaces, I think this is like 15 lines of code. Not too difficult. Now this is employing it on my own system. You'd have to do networking if you want to network and exploiting if you want to, you know, send this to another computer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember this video was for educational purposes only and it is not a recommendation for any type of hacking. So please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment explaining how awesome this teleworking beard is. If this is the first time to my channel, I just want to let you know I've been in the Air Force for 20 years and I've never let my beard grow out like this before. So please leave a comment and tell me how awesome it is and share this with your friends. Thanks. Goodbye world.